Okay, so we've been talking about lots of different ways to solve these uh, particle motion problems. And the reason we're going over this so much is because I, as I've looked, I keep seeing it showing up over and over on the on the AP exams. And this is looking back as far as 1997. Um, so it keeps showing up. So there are three ways to solve these things. One is the numerical approach. The second is the graphical approach, and last is analytically. And we're going to do the analytical approach also, but right now we're going to work on this graphically. So here's my reproduction of this graph that I found on somebody's uh, AP document, uh, public domain. So I thought we'd use it. So here's this here's this graph, and we're asked to answer these questions. At t equals 4, I, I guess one thing I'd start with is this, to tell you that this is a... This is the velocity graph, so this is V of T. So this is a graph of velocity. I'm going to say this again. This is a velocity uh, graph, because if this was a position graph, we'd have different things to talk about, and, but no. Okay, so it says the first question A is at T equals 4 seconds, is the particle moving to the right or to the left? Well, here is T equals uh, 4 right here. So T equals 4 is right here. And we can see clearly that we can see clearly that the particle is moving to the right because the velocity is positive, and that's what you have to write. The particle, and we have the full answer here: the particle is moving to the right. Period. The velocity is positive. Remember that when we're doing these questions on the AB exam, that we have the particle moving along the x-axis, so we only have horizontal movement here. So if we have positive velocity, we know it's moving to the right. Okay? So moving on to the second question, it says here, over what time period is the particle moving to the left? Well, that's almost as easy uh, to answer, because all we have to do is look at this and find out when is velocity negative. So here velocity is zero, velocity is zero, and every place under here velocity is negative, and therefore the particle is moving to the left over the interval, so the particle is moving left for T is right. It's not great. It has to be greater than than five because when T is five, so it's not it's not T is greater than or equal to five because at T is five, right? This is T and this is V of T. Um, it's equal to zero and less than or equal to nine. Oh, it should be nine and nine. Less than or equal to nine because that's where our graph ends here at nine. So at nine, all right. So the proof is that velocity is negative on this interval, right? on this interval period. Okay, so it says, it asks us, it asks us, over what time period is the particle moving to the left? Yes, we have, but remember, you have to explain. Without an explanation, you're missing a bunch of your points, so let's be careful. The next part says, at t equals four seconds, is the acceleration of the particle positive or negative? Explain. Well, the acceleration of the particle is negative because the velocity is decreasing, isn't it? Velocity is decreasing, right? It's moving down, right? So the acceleration of the particle of the particle is negative. Because the velocity is decreasing, okay? It's decreasing. 
All right, so that's good news there. So we're giving them our full answers. We're answering the question, and we're providing them with our explanation. So we did that. What is the average acceleration of the particle for t is greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to 4? So I go back. I labeled the graph pretty well. And what we're going to do here is this. Right, we're going to just do a little division. We're going to do v of 4 minus v of 2. Are right, going to get this average over 4 minus 2? Over 4 minus 2. If you go back up and look at the graph, it's actually 6 minus 9 over 4 minus 2 is right, 2. And 6 minus 9 is negative 3 over 2. And remember, this is important that we have to use our unit in its well, feet per second over seconds, so feet per second over seconds, which, right, these can't, right, these, actually, these don't cancel. This comes up this way. I'm sorry, this comes up as a reciprocal here, and we multiply this, so we get feet over seconds squared, don't we? We get feet over seconds squared. So our unit is feet over seconds squared. If you have any problem with that, please write it in my comment, and I'll, I'll address it the best that I can. But this is just, it was just a little piece of algebra there, wasn't it? So hopefully that was good. So it says, is there guaranteed to be a time in the interval where t is greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to 4 such that v prime at t is equal to negative 3 halves uh, feet per second? And we're supposed to justify that answer. Um, and there is no such time guaranteed. The mean value theorem of it doesn't apply here because this is not differential, not differentiable at t equals three. At t equals three. Why? Because this is the point here. I don't know if you can see it very well. This is the point here, right? This is the point three something. And it's not differentiable because it has that quick, sharp um, change to it, doesn't it? So we can we can use that. All right, and this, this, I don't know how to explain this better, but this is important. When you see a function like a, uh, like maybe a absolute value function or an opposite absolute value function, when when you see something has a ch that changes this quickly, when I'm talking about the changes right here, so what I'm saying to you here is that this thing is not, this thing consistently might have a slope of, I don't know, negative 1. And then it goes from here, from a slope of negative 1 to a slope of positive 1. There's no transitional period. There's no smoothness to the curve. So when you see that, it begs the question, is this thing differentiable? And it's not differentiable here. So I'm saying to you, if I follow this along from, from here to here, the slope from here to there is negative 1. I'm just saying as an example. And then with no transitional period from, from the green point, everywhere to the right, it has maybe a slope of positive one, right? What we're looking for is something a little bit a little bit smoother. So there's my argument there. It has too sharp of a turn. And that's what I'm going to put as my explanation, just so you know. I'm, it's not just something I'm saying to you. I'm putting that as my explanation. I'm actually going to um, say that do, uh, it's due to the sharp turn in the graph. So that's going to be my answer. I think I'm running out of time, so I'm actually not going to write that. But that is my answer. My answer is no, yet. Yet, ne pravda. This is not true. No. So, no. Due to the abrupt, sharp, I want to say it, abrupt turn in the function. Ah! In the function at. V of three, right? And V of three, and you know how to draw that, right? It's just too steep here. So, okay, that's what I have. Hope it's helpful. I'm gonna try to get some more done for you soon. So.